ich fühle mich ja seit heute Morgen wie ein Riesenstar, weil nämlich vorm Hotel um die, was weiß ich, geschätzte 100.000 Mädchen stehen und kreischen. Ich musste aber feststellen, dass sie das nicht wegen mir tun, sondern wegen Justin Bieber und der ist da. Hallo Justin. Hallo, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm great. Just had a rehearsal of your performance tonight. Yes. Never say never, pray and uh, what's the third song you're performing? Oh, I'm just doing two songs. Two songs, okay. And which one uh, do you prefer? Um, it's kind of like it's going to be a medley of uh, pray and never say never. And which one do you like more? You don't oh, care? I like both of them. I like both of them. Yeah, completely different actually, the ballet, and then you can dance, and so yeah. it's completely different, I guess. So um, let's talk about, um, actually I'm a little bit late. Happy birthday to you. you. On the 1st of March, what was the nicest present you got? Um, just being able to be with family and friends, that's, that was the most amazing present. Actually, you're touring around all the time, so I guess that's a nice present, yeah. Um, actually, we can't see your hair right now. Ihr müsst mir glauben, dass er einen neuen Haarschnitt hat. You have to believe me, he's got a new haircut. How does it feel if the whole world is discussing about such a simple thing like a new haircut? How does it feel for you? Uh, I don't really know. I just kind of, uh, I don't really pay attention to it much. I just kind of go with, you know, whatever I do. I just do it. I don't really care what people But it's think. strange, isn't it? Not really. No. Um, but actually, um, one of your locks was um, auctioned for $40,000 after appearance at Ellen DeGeneres, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, do you understand why people pay $40,000 for hair? Um, no, but it goes to a great cause, so um, we, you know, I'm happy I w that the, the hair would have just went in the garbage, so might as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I guess you wouldn't go so far um, as you did at Jimmy Kimmel Live, right? No, no, definitely not. What happened there? Nettes, uh, nettes Bild auch. That was just a, that was a ball cap. And was it a gag or what did you do it for? Oh yeah, he, he shaved my head on the show if you watched it, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel is a great, great uh, host actually. Um, so you're touring Europe at the moment and the last time, it's I think two years ago, it's not the first time for you touring around. So what's different now and uh, when you're going on stage compared to a few years ago? Um, I mean... The fans are so, like, they've been amazing since day one. Um, my fans have always just been there and supported me. So, you know, I love that about it, just being able to travel and see so many great fans and, and stuff. Do you really see them on stage, about the, the 100,000 of fans? Do you see some of the faces? Yeah, 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 definitely, especially at the end when usually I, I turn on the lights and get to see them. Ah, you do that? Yeah. Also, er sieht euch alle. Also, richtet euch schon mal schick her. Dem geht überhaupt gar nichts. And um, what's your favorite moment during such a show? Um, my favorite mo uh, moment in my show is probably I like performing down to earth. Mhm. Mm yeah. Down uh, with the with the audience, or where in front of the audience? No, no, my song is called Down to Earth. Ah, your song. Yeah. Ah, you're talking about your song, okay? Um, when we are talking about your tour, um, all the, the the girls in front of the hotel and all this crazy stuff, um, are you already used to this? Um, it gets it gets kind of crazy to me. I don't know if I'll ever really get used to it, like the hysteria and stuff. It gets really crazy. Yeah, but actually tonight they um, don't have just the performance of you, you're also the mentor of one of the candidates in the show. Do you already know which candidate and which bet is going to be there for you? Mm -mm. Noch gar nix. Do you like to bet? Uh, well, I'm too young to bet. You have to be like 18. But maybe with friends, you know? Sometimes you bet with friends, no? Never? I guess, but I'm not really, I don't really like to bet that much. You must be very proud because you're very successful with your documentary movie in the cinemas. It's topping the charts all over the world. The film um, Never Say Never, Dokumentarfilm in America, der erfolgreichste, der hat sogar Michael Jackson geschlagen, also ist wahrscheinlich nicht so schlecht. How is it for you to see you on the big screen? Do you see every single thing and, and be very critic? Uh, yeah, 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 it's crazy. Um, John Chu did an amazing job on the movie and got to really put out my message and that was really the main thing. And so I was really, I was really proud of it. Put on your mes message, so which one was it? Was it, what is it? Pardon? Your message, you said that he put into um, this movie your message, so what kind of message is it? No, I, I like my story, like mm -hmm. he, he made it my story and like how I wanted my story to look to, to the people and how it was out of my, you know, out of my eyes and not necessarily anyone else's. Mm -hmm. um, what did your family say and your friends? Have you been out for the movie and watching it all together? Um, yeah, we had uh, screenings with my family and friends and they all enjoyed it.
It's crazy. You've got so many different events to do during the year. What uh, was, yeah, especially that one. That's a great event as well. This man is now uh, in Madame, Madame Tussauds to see. So you're a figure at Madame Tussauds right now as yeah, well. It's crazy. Yeah, do you, you recognize yourself? Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Did you um, had to be there as a role model um, to stand there and they created the figure out of it? or? Um, no, I think they, they just took my measurements and like they took pictures of all my like different stuff. I don't know really how the process works. Crazy seeing you there. But um, Barack Obama is at Madame Tussauds as well and you've been performing for him as well. What kind of um, event was that? What kind of experience? It was great. He was uh, really cool, really nice. His family was really cool. What you say? Okay, I'm talking about Madame Tussauds, your tour, your movie, um, um, then um, um, performing for the president. So what's the best thing about your job? What would you say? Um, just being able to make people smile and make people happy, that's probably the best thing about my job. And what's the worst? The worst thing is that I'm away from like, all my friends and family all the time. But is there any time to make any vacation, a vacancy? Or a what? Any off times, um, free time? Yeah, 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 there's some off time, yeah. After the tour? Yeah. First of all, you're going on a tour. Thank you very much um, for a short talk with me. Thank you, Justin. Thank you.